Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the following. A piece of wire 100 centimeters long is cut into two pieces. One piece is bent to form a circle, and the other piece is bent to form a triangle. Determine how the wire should be cut so that the total area enclosed is in part A a maximum, and in part B a minimum. Step one: draw a diagram. The wire is 100 centimeters long. You can break this into two parts. The first part you can call x, and in the second part you can call this 100 minus x. And again, x is really anywhere between 0 centimeters to 100 centimeters. And you can write a let statement on your own. Now, if you focus on the first part, x, and you bend this into a triangle, because you want to optimize the area, you're thinking about an equilateral triangle, which means each side is going to be x divided by 3. Now, even though the base equals to x divided by 3, you could break this down into two parts. If you divide this triangle in half, each part is going to be x divided by 6. When you focus on half of this triangle, you're going to see a right angle triangle, and this is going to be the height h. Now, this means c square equals to a square plus b square. Or in this case, it's going to be x divided by 3, quantity square, which equals to h square plus x divided by 6, quantity square. And again, if you expand the left-hand side, that's going to be x square divided by 9, equal to h square plus x square divided by 36. You can isolate for h on its own. First, copy x squared divided by 9. When you bring x squared with 36 to the left, that's going to be minus x squared divided by 36. When you find a common denominator for 9 and 36, the common denominator is going to be 36. So you have to multiply the first fraction by the missing common denominator. So h squared equals to 4x squared minus 1x squared, which is 3x squared, divided by 36. The opposite of squaring something is to find the square root, and there are two cases. The negative case is going to be rejected because height cannot be negative. h equals to the square root of 3 times, if you think about the square root of x squared, that's going to be x, and likewise, the square root of 36 is going to be 6. Let's put a box around this. We're going to use this in a moment. The area of a triangle is given by half times base times height. And in this case, the base is going to be x divided by 3. The height, which we just found, is going to be root 3 times x divided by 6. This means the area of the triangle is going to be root 3 times x squared divided by 2 times 3 times 6, 36. Now, if you focus on the second part of this wire, you're going to bend 100 minus x into a circle. And again, 100 minus x equals to the circumference of the circle. And the circumference of the circle equals to pi times diameter, or 2 times pi times r. So in this case, the radius is going to be 100 minus x divided by 2 pi. Again. You can put a box around this. We're going to use this 
where we set up the area of a circle. Pi times r to the power of 2, which means in this case, you take the radius and you plug it back in. So that's going to be 100 minus x all over 2 pi. Now this we can expand, which means pi times 100 times itself is going to be 10,000 minus 2 times 100 times x, so negative 200x plus x squared divided by 2 pi times 2 pi is 4 pi squared. You can cross out 1 pi from the top and 1 from the bottom. Now, let's set this up. If you think about the maximum and the minimum, let's start with the minimum. The maximum is actually the simpler part because you take the wire and you bend to the shape with the most symmetry, which will get you. Minimizing is a little bit tougher. So you're really trying to minimize the total area, which is the area of the triangle, plus the area of the circle. Now, since we already wrote this from above, the area of a triangle is going to be root 3 times x squared divided by 36. Area is a function of x plus, now, we wrote down 10,000 minus 200x plus x squared divided by 4 pi. Before we differentiate this, set it to 0 and solve for x, you can break this down a little bit more. So copy the first part, root 3 x squared divided by 36. If you look at the trinomial, which you're dividing by 4 pi, this is 10,000 divided by 4 pi. Even though you can reduce this, you don't have to because when you differentiate a constant, that's going to become 0. Negative 200x divided by 4 pi is 50 divided by pi plus x squared divided by 4 pi. Now we can differentiate this, set it to 0, and solve for x. The first term, when you differentiate x squared, that's going to be 2x. And 2 divided by 36 is going to be 1 over 18. Second term, when you differentiate, that's going to be 0. If you look at the third term, I forgot to copy the x. That was my mistake. So when you differentiate negative 50 over pi times x, that's negative 50 divided by pi plus the last term. When you differentiate x squared, that's going to be 2x. And 2 divided by 4 pi, it's going to be 1 over 2 pi. Now, when you set this to be 0, you can also factor x to the front. In the brackets, it's going to be root 3 divided by 18 plus 1 over 2 pi minus 50 over pi. Bring negative 50 divided by pi on the left, which becomes positive. You can copy the right. The opposite of multiplying is to divide. So you can divide both sides by root 3 over 18 plus 1 over 2 pi. When you take the calculator and you work it out, x is approximately 62 centimeters, which is used to bend into a triangle. 100 minus x is going to be approximately 38 centimeters, which is used to bend into a circle. Now, the question becomes, how do we know if that's a maximum or a minimum? And one method is to compare the three different cases. If you go back to the beginning here, x could be anywhere from 0 centimeters up to 100 centimeters. And those are the endpoints you're comparing along with the critical point that's in between. So your goal is to plug in the three corresponding x values to see which one is the largest and smallest. 
So 62 was the critical point, and points would be 0 and 100. Now again, you can take the calculator, plug it back to here for each of these cases. Now, in the first case, when you plug in x to be 0, this is approximately 796 centimeters square. In the second case, when you plug in 62, this is approximately 300 centimeters square. Last but not least, if you plug in 100, that's approximately 481 centimeters square. So the largest number, 796 centimeters square, is the maximum. The smallest number, 300 centimeters square, is the minimum. And here comes the most important part. You don't want to just kind of do this. Really important that you understand why this makes sense. So again, in part A, they're asking for the maximum. In part B, they're asking for the minimum. And you can find the maximum when x equals to 0 centimeters. That's the triangle. 100 minus x equals to 100 centimeters for the circle. Now, the reason why this makes sense is because when you compare the shapes of an equilateral triangle with the circle, the circle has the most symmetry. So if you think about maximizing and minimizing, anytime you want to maximize an area, it's always to the shape with the most symmetry. And a circle has more symmetry than a triangle. In the second case, it's the minimum when x is approximately 62 centimeters for the triangle and 100 minus x, which is approximately 38 centimeters for the circle. I hope this makes sense.